Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this morning I'm making um, pulled pork. So what I'm going to do now, you obviously need um, a pork shoulder and there is a bone in there and that's going to give it a lot of flavor. So, um, of course when you make pulled pork you need your rub and your rub, it's only like a few ingredients. So. What I put in it was onion powder, um, cloves, and I think, I can't remember the rest of it. But anyway, enough chit chat. We're going to get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rub and I'm going to pour it over my pork. Now, I'm probably not going to need this spoon anyway. I'm just going to rub it into the meat. And it's totally fine if you get your hands dirty, because that's kind of the beauty of cooking, is that you get your hands a little dirty. It's fine, I'm, I'm used to it by now already. So, as you can see, I'm just rubbing my pork. And I know it's a little hard to see, but um, when, once we get it in the slow cooker, I'll show you what um, what I'm going to do after this. Because it's cooked. Now, this takes a good six to, six to seven hours, even eight if you have longer, to cook. So it takes all day, but I don't want that to scare you. I'm just kind of rubbing it into the meat. And what I do to the pork is I just pat it really, I just pat it into that meat, just kind of get it in here. And it's okay if some of the, the stuff falls. Oh, and I also put um, uh, onion flakes in the meat, so I'm just just patting it in that, in that, so now it'll stick. And we're going to put this fat side down in the slow cooker once I get all this, this rub on. So there's one side, so now I'm going to flip it. I'm actually, here's what I'm going to do. So instead of, so I got one side seasoned, right? Instead of putting this side unseasoned, I'm going to put it into a slow cooker, and I'm going to do the opposite side. So here's what I'm going to do. Because that side is seasoned well, I'm going to flip it onto the fat side up. So I'll put it directly into a slow cooker like this, and you see the bone? I know you guys can't see the slow cooker, but I'm going to take the remaining mixture and I'm just going to season it on the opposite side, okay? So just take it, and if I say there's no need for extra fat, then you know there's no need for extra fat. Because this is going to release a lot of fat while it's cooking for the full eight hours in the slow cooker. So it takes all day to cook, but that's fine. And it's pulled pork, so you know, pulled pork takes a while. And like I said, there is a bone in there, and that's going to give you great flavor. So I'll just take the rest of your rub. Okay. All right, so we're done with that. Oh, my hands are dirty, but it's fine. It's more, it's, I'm used to it by now. So all we do is we're just gonna rub it in really good. And actually what I'll do is so that this, I'm gonna just gonna kind of rub it into the meat and it's okay if some of the stuff falls on the bottom of the slope because I'm gonna flip it back over like this, just like this. And I'm just gonna kind of get that rub in that slow cooker. Now, it's totally fine if some of the rub falls off of your slow cooker because that's going to help with the meat. So just kind of rub it in there really good. Mm, look at that. That's going to be beautiful.